Welcome to another edition of Caution Caveman Cooking's C3 TV. I'm Mark Caveman Avery, and we're back to dish up some more delicious recipes that are so easy, even a, well, you know, can do it. On the show today, we're making one of our favorites, caramelized pear salad. What? A salad? You gotta be kidding, man. A salad? You're gonna lose your caveman card. Whoa, easy, stay with me here. Not only is this an amazingly tasty salad, but we get to make fire. Big fire. Really big fire. And we don't just get to make really big fire once, we get to make it twice. <laughs> cool. Do I get to keep my caveman card now? Oh, yeah. Besides, Neanderthals can't live on meat alone, though we like to try. First, we need to make the dressing so that all the ingredients can soak together and blend real well before serving. And for this salad, we need to make our cave vinaigrette. In a small bowl or cup, blend together one teaspoon of dried Italian herbs, one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, preferably aged, one teaspoon of teriyaki sauce, yeah, you heard me right, teriyaki sauce. One teaspoon of red wine. Okay, maybe a little bit more than one teaspoon. One teaspoon of molasses. A half teaspoon of chopped or crushed garlic. And a half teaspoon of sugar. Then, just mix it together really well. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This stuff is so good. And not just on salads. You can drizzle it on a sub sandwich, or it makes a great marinade for chicken or fish. Plus, you can make it ahead of time. Just throw it in the fridge in an airtight container. It should stay fresh for about a week or so. Now, we've got to get busy with our nuts. <laughs> you said you have to get busy with your nuts. <laughs> uh, excuse me a sec. Is this how the whole show's going to go? Really? Great. Help me. We could just throw some walnuts or pecans into this salad and call it good, but we like to go off the range as often as possible here on C3 TV, so we're gonna whip up some of our candied Kahlua pecans. We'll need one and a half cups of pecans, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of white sugar, and a shot of Kahlua. Heat a 12-inch skillet over a medium-high flame, and then add the butter. When it's melted, throw in the pecans, followed by the white and brown sugars. Flip the pecans, getting them evenly coated with the butter and sugars. Then saute them for about three minutes or so, taking care not to burn your n uh, pecans. <laughs> Just before they are done, add the Kahlua, and when it gets heated up, which happens pretty quickly, carefully tilt the pan towards the flame and flambe or flame the entire mixture. It's okay if you aren't comfortable flaming up a pan of pecans. Just skip that part and let the liquor completely cook out, though your caveman card may go under review. Once the flame has died out in the pan, go ahead and flip them again one more time to get them evenly coated with the mixture we've created, and then take them off the heat and let them cool down a bit. I know you're gonna wanna try one, but these things are super hot. So unless you're from the Marquis de Sade School of Cooking, let them cool down a bit before munching, all right? By the way, these go great on top of some vanilla ice cream too. Just saying. When we return, we're gonna get those pears caramelized and then make our salad. For more on the dish we are featuring today, or for a bunch of other great, delicious, and easy recipes, just go to the Caution Caveman Cooking website at cavemancooking.net. You'll find step-by-step -step illustrated instructions that will walk you through everything from soups to salads, side dishes to main dishes, and hors d'oeuvres to desserts. Stop by and say hi at cavemancooking.net. Welcome back to Caution Caveman Cooking's C3 TV. Today, we're making a caramelized pear salad. We've already made the dressing, and we've made some candied Kahlua pecans to go on top. Now, it's time to caramelize those pears. First, we'll need a large bowl filled with cold water and the juice from half a lemon. Then, get yourself a couple of nice pears. <laughs> what? Nothing. You want to say something? No. 
You sure you don't want to say something about a couple of nice pairs? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. As I was saying, two pairs. Preferably red or Asian, but any variety of the fruit will work for this dish. Just make sure they haven't ripened beyond firm, otherwise they tend to get a little mushy when you cook them. We'll also need two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of white sugar, and one shot of brandy or cognac. Today, we're using Asian or Chinese pears. Go ahead and give them a good wash, then you can peel them, but that's optional. Then core them and slice them up. Put them in the lemon water for about 10 minutes and then be sure to drain them really well. Now heat a 12 inch skillet over a medium high flame and melt the butter. Then go ahead and add the pears and the sugars. Saute them until the edges turn a light brown. Then flip the pears and do the same thing to the other side, being careful not to overcook them so they don't turn mushy. Just before they're done, add the brandy and once again have some fun with fire. Just be sure to have a fire extinguisher close by if you're going to try this maneuver. When they're done, remove them from the heat and let them cool down a little bit. Again, be careful when taste testing these hot off the stove. By the way, these also go great on grilled pork or chicken. While the pears are cooling, we're going to go ahead and throw our greens into a large salad bowl. Now you can use anything from baby spinach to mixed lettuces for this, but we like to do a mixture of three ounces of baby spinach and three ounces of baby spring greens. Now we're going to go ahead and throw the K vinaigrette on top of that and toss it really well. Next, go ahead and plate a serving of the dressed greens and place several of the caramelized pear slices on top. Add about 10 of the pecans and crumble a half ounce of goat cheese on top of each serving. That's it, you've got salad. And now, the moment of truth. Mmm, oh man, it's that good. Mm. The sweetness of the pears and the pecans work perfectly against the bite of the greens and the tartness of the cheese. Plus the dressing just ties it all together really well. Oh man, is this good. May even be worth my caveman card. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Caveman Avery, and I'll see you next time for more delicious and easy recipes on Caution Caveman Cooking's C3 TV. I'm going back to the salad. You can drizzle it on a sub sandwich. Just throw it in the fridge in an air kite. An air kite? <laughs> the moment of truth. I'm getting my mouth. Hello? Hello? Is this thing on?